Hey y'all, welcome back to Kim's Southern Sanctuary. I have for you today a grocery haul slash school supply haul. Sorry for the light in here it's sucking today. It's super bright outside, so. All right, here we go. I got a 24 pack of Coke Zero. That was $8.98, so the price has gone up on this, this is normally like $7.98. Um, some Lipton Herbal Iced Tea, and it's the strawberry and mint kind. Got these for Nora. And then Emily likes the tummy yummies on the fruit punch kind. She always gets those when we go to like the gas station or something. And I decided I was gonna pick her up some of those today. As far as cold stuff, thin sliced honey ham, thin sliced mesquite smoked turkey breast. We needed bacon. I got uh, hickory smoked bacon and then applewood bacon. This one's going to be for a recipe that I'm going to be uh, making tonight. I got a four pack of the Too Good Vanilla Yogurt Greek Yogurt, a two pack of salted butter because we're running low, green onions, mini romaine. I saw somebody haul this yesterday. And I normally get the three pack of romaine hearts and I, a lot of times it goes bad before I use it all. So, um, I just went on ahead and got this smaller package of mini romaine. So, I'll let you know how that works. Uh, bananas, one pound bag of Colby Jack, one pound bag of mozzarella, spinach because we're going to make cream spinach, Worcestershire sauce, Ranch dressing. Do you like Hidden Valley Ranch or Wishbone? Leave your comments down below. I like the Wishbone because that's what my grandma always used growing up. And so that kind of reminds me of her. Um, I got a four pound pack of sugar. We're running low on that. I was watching yesterday The Hodgepodge Life of Jessie. And she did a sheet pan recipe with chicken, bacon, potatoes and onions and she used garlic butter shrimp scampi mix she tossed it all together so that's what we're having tonight semi-sweet chocolate chips peanut butter granola bars an eight pack of the chocolate peanut butter bars uh, for chris and i we use those to snack on i got 40 13 gallon hefty trash bags they're the fabuloso scent two gallons of two percent milk i got a gallon of milk yesterday morning because we were running well no we didn't have any because we had been on vacation and i looked this morning nora drank three-fourths of that gallon so i had to get two more gallons of milk i got the so delicious dairy-free organic vanilla uh, milk I had a hard time finding this but this sweet little girl at walmart helped me find it um, to go with this, I got white cranberry strawberry juice. We're going to um, make the refreshers that you get from Dunkin' Donuts. I tried to get Nora to get one the other day when we went to the one um, in Pensacola, but she didn't want to. So I was like, I'm going to get this stuff for it because I've seen Moss Family TV make these and Large Family Love. Uh, they both make them. So we're going to try those. Chris needed some heavy whipping cream for his coffee. So, my grocery haul itself was, I think this was 140, 140 maybe? Maybe 140? And this is not a lot. Like, not a lot. So... Yet again, grocery prices are still going high. We're using a lot of things that we have in our pantry and in our freezers um, for the rest of this month and most of the month of August. Now to school supplies, because yes, it is that time of the year. I did have a few things here already left over from last year, um, but there were things that I needed to get. Both the girls need a four pack of dry erase markers. So I just got the pin and gear uh, brand. That's the Walmart brand got um one two three four one subject notebooks again the pen and gear and they have 
um, the plastic um, cover on them. Those hold up really well. I got one, two, three, four, five, six of the Marvel Composition Notebooks. Nora needs three. Emily needs one or two, and I always get extra of those. Um, both of the girls needed a new um, pencil pouch, so I got them the binder pouches and then pencil sharpeners. Again, the Pen and Gear brand, it's perfectly fine for us. Nora needs a scientific calculator, so and it was a specific one that she needed, and they had one at Walmart, and I think that this was like $12, so she had to have that. They both needed um, the eight count dividers. Nora needed a one and a half inch binder. Emily needed a three inch binder and that was black. For myself, for my school need purposes for work, I always like to get the graph composition notebooks. Um, and the only time you can find them is at the beginning of school. I use these notebooks year round. So. Um, I got three of those, and then I got last year this brand called Exceed. Um, it's the off brand, nothing wrong with it. It's a five subject um, college rule notebook. And what I do is I have one subject for each one of my schools. So I'll tab it and I'll put um, a name of one of my schools. So I might have like four schools that I'll need a tab for, and then the fifth subject will just be like notes at different meetings that I have. So, talk real quick about um, name brand stuff versus the off brand. I would say that the only name brand school supplies that you would need to purchase for your child would be uh, the Crayola brand for markers crayons and colored pencils please don't buy rose art as a former teacher they are bobo they are bobo and they break so if you can afford to get the crayola brand please get crayola they're a dollar like the colored pencils and markers are a dollar like 97 cents right now and the crayons at some walmarts range from they used to be 25 cents 25 to 50 cents Go on and get Crayola and pencils. Do not buy off-brand pencils. If you can, buy Dixon or Ticonderoga. Those are the best pencils. The other pencils do not sharpen at all. They don't sharpen. So, if you can get Ticonderoga or Dixon, and sometimes USA is a pretty good brand as well. But, look, as far as everything else... You can get name, you can get off brand stuff. All of my stuff is all, well, the Avery stuff. They didn't have the um, off brand binders and stuff. Um, but Pen and Gear, like that's the Walmart brand. I did not buy Expo brand dry erase markers. I got Pen and Gear. These were like a dollar fifty for these four. And you know what? They're gonna run out of ink, and that's okay. I'm just gonna buy more later on so it's fine I also found the short sleeve shirt for Nora um it was $7.98 I think she needs just some new shirts um short sleeve shirts because her clothes look ratty tatty tatty and this will be a shirt that she can wear to church because we're fixing to start going back to church um and it's a no boundaries and it was $7.98 so my non-grocery part was $98. So, two something for all of this today. So, hope you enjoyed my haul. And, you know, it's that back to school time. So, you got to gear up, start getting your kids school supplies. Hope y'all have a good day, and we'll see y'all later.